Uh, we're going to do something a little different today. Uh, I received this into the mail. I am usually not so much into mini pieces, but I did want to see what it could do, but most importantly, how it is put together. Now today we are reviewing the excellent X12 Pro Mini PC from Geekcom. And Geekcom has been trying the very best to not only make as good mini PCs as you can get, but also to innovate in this very niche market. So much so that lately they've been releasing really cool products who start to be noticed by big PC builders such as your servitor. Now, starting with the obvious. We are dealing with a very small cube here. Mini PCs are small, but it is hard to comprehend how small that thing is. The overall case is a mix of brush metal and matte plastic. It looks expensive, it feels robust, and yeah, you can tell someone in Geekcom decided to spend some time on it to make it not only eye-pleasing, but desirable. Our entire PC componentry is placed on both sides of a single thick PCB. And to avoid any kind of component signal interferences, because there are a lot of components here on a very tight real estate, um, Geekcom decided to go absolutely insane and they provided a 12 layered uh, PCB logic board, something I've never seen before and which will have deep consequences in terms of product robustness and lifespan in a good way. Memory-wise, well, our XT12 comes pre-populated with 32 GB of DDR4 RAM organized in a dual channel. But the board itself can support up to 64 GB of DDR4 RAM, clockable up to a rather fast 4.3 about gigahertz. Uh, we have also a terabyte worth of PCIe 4 enabled storage, as well as an expandable M.2 solid state drive connector right next to it for some storage expansion. We are swimming in the premium and I love it, but what really made me smile and why uh, I decided to review this product in particular, one of many points, is the fact that we have attached to the XT12 roof a thermal padded copper plate. And just the fact that Geekcom thought of rigiding our storage heat away through a copper plate attached to the roof of the mini PC, simple, intuitive, but frankly saying, brilliant. Now, one thing I do need to notice is the fact that we do have an SD card uh, slot right here. It, it actually absolutely works if you put it in. Uh, but obviously it was not meant to be used since we have no opening on the case itself. So basically this is a legacy um, feature uh, who's been used on other products. Nothing bad, but just, yeah, uh, if you see that when you want to upgrade, don't ask why. It's just there for you not to use. On the other side of our PCB, well, it's all about the processor. CPU-wise, our XT12 is powered by nothing less than a Gargan 2SK i9 12900H. That, that's 5 gigahertz, that's 14 cores, 20 threads, and 115 watt worth of a monstrous CPU. Obviously, it also comes with an integrated Iris XE GPU, which, as we will see later, doesn't hold its punches. But to be absolutely transparent and honest, it's not only one of the most powerful chips you can see on a on a box like this, but it's also one of the hottest. 115 watt hot. And this is where we can see that Geekcom has heavily matured its manufacturing process. The cooling solution is absolutely gorgeous. First comes the radiating plate, again, which doesn't only provide a secured and tight control to the CPU die, but it also comes with a double contact design here to relieve heat excess to both power stages and chokes. Now, this is not something you will see every day uh, on, on mini PCs or even on laptops. Obviously, Geekcom has been looking at what main manufacturers, namely Asus, MSI, and others have been doing it on the motherboards, I should know, and, and paralleled it into the mini PC world, which I absolutely love. Now, finally, the accumulated heat is then blown out of the XT12 by this powerful yet quite turbine fan. And that all looks nice and, and great on paper and even in person, but the main limitations we have with component in a mini pc is thermal throttling because they're usually really 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 bad at dealing with all those components packed together and make sure that you know 
uh, they keep at an acceptable temperature range before they start to slow down. But here, and that's why this product is different, here, the XT12 does an absolute amazing job at staying cool at all time. After a 90 minute synthetic stress test, I barely detected 40 degrees Celsius worth of heat emerging uh, on the roof of the XT12. An absolute monument to their engineering team and a big uh, a cooling kudos to Geekcom for this. Now, connectivity wise, our XT12 comes heavily equipped with a bunch of outputs, but the star here is the Thunderbolt 4.0 standard. Uh, that the 12900H brings and which allows 240 gigabit Type-C plugs right here. A premium touch not always present even on very expensive motherboards. I also love the fact that we have a couple of HDMI output, great for productivity tasks on the move. Performance-wise, the XT12 shows its muscle both in raw computing and gaming. For example, I have edited and produced this entire video on the X12 Pro. It was smooth, it was fast, nothing to re-say. And the different metrics show how able the i9-12900H really is. And gaming-wise, despite not being a gaming-centric machine, the XC graphic processor delivers impressive gaming abilities. I am not saying that you'll be able to play comfortably your latest AAA games, but again, the XT12 delivers performances not yet seen at this price point and this format. Now, things are changing in the mini PC world. That's a fact. What used to be a more niche and a weird little segment market is maturing into a real quality segment of home computing. And XC12 is probably the first product I have reviewed uh, to really drive that point home. Now, should you buy it? Uh, well, it all depends what you're looking for. If uh, you are looking for heavy, heavy gaming, heavy graphic design and stuff like that, obviously this is not where you want to be. But if you're into, let's say, for example, um, a more crowded space, lots of people, kids and everything, and you want to have a quick access to a minimalistic, good looking office space who can provide a lot of you know, reliable hard computing, well, I can see a real added value here. And if that is your case, well, there's simply right now nowhere else your money wants to be.